Now, you may know that China, South Korea and Sweden are the world's experts at ping pong, but in this laboratory, our favourite sport is electro pong. What I got here is a Van de Graaff generator connected to the right hand plate of this parallel plate capacitor. The other side of the parallel plate capacitor is floating, which means it's not connected to earth, not connected to the circuit. There may be a little bit of leakage due to humidity and dust and finger grease, but it's basically disconnected. In the middle I have a ping pong ball covered with aluminium foil attached to a cotton thread, which is an insulator. All right, now if I turn on the Van de Graaff generator, I start to charge this up. It's probably positive charges. We'll see what happens to the ping pong ball. Right, you sort of got attracted, picked up some positive charge from that plate, and then got, now that we have two positive objects, repels, bounces to the other side, carries the charge to the other side. Bounces off that, comes back, picks up more charge, but you can see it's only moving very slowly. Let's see what happens if I now earth the left hand plate. Okay, a bit of performance enhancing discharge. Okay, you see that the uh, see that the ping pong ball is sped up because all that charge that's dumping on that left hand plate is now carried away by to the earth. When I let the charge build up, little by little, that left hand plate becomes more repulsive to the ping pong ball, so the effect doesn't, isn't so pronounced. All right, so basically that ball is going back and forth, carrying charge from one plate to the other. Now, I've kind of oversimplified what's going on here. I'm gonna ask you a question. When we started, The ping pong ball was sitting in the middle. So, and it, so it's uncharged, sitting in the middle. Why, when I started charging up the right hand plate, did the ping pong ball become attracted to it? What actually happened is, that sitting in this field, what happens is that the electrons uh, originally were uniformly distributed around the sphere, but because it was sitting in an electric field, you tended to get assuming this is the positive plate, then it would attract more electrons to the left-hand side. So the ball would become slightly polarised. The, the closer side is slightly negative and the further side is slightly positive. So because of that part of the ball being slightly negative, it actually gets attracted to the positive plate. So while this is going on, not only are we moving charge from one plate to the other, but we're also inducing this slight polarisation in the ball. That actually complicates the explanation. But uh, I think we'll just play more Electro Pong. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. Benjamin Franklin, a name that you've heard mentioned many times in the context of electricity, used this effect to make a lightning alarm. What he did was, instead of having two parallel plates like this, he had two bells sitting side by side with a little clapper between them, similar to this. And one of the plates was connected to the earth and the other plate was connected to a wire going to a pole sitting up in the sky. So whenever a highly charged cloud, a, a potential source of lightning, would pass overhead, it, it would build up a charge in one of the, the uh, bells and the little clanger would start ringing the alarm. I think I'll play some more Pong.